Hello, my friend. Today I want to try Folk Arts Drizzle Pour Paints. These are pre-mixed paints for acrylic pours, and they come in a ton of cool colors and have a few tools, too. I grabbed this seven pocket cup and this galaxy set and I'm going to do a ring pour on this 12 by 12 canvas. I am so excited to see how this turns out. So let's get started. Okay, it's been nine days since we've done the pour. I did use a lot of paint, so I'm sure that played a big factor in the dry time, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Probably the best pour I've ever done. This is the first pour that was done on my perfectly level, uh, almost perfectly level table, and it definitely shows. This did not shift at all. I'm, I'm in complete awe of it. The one thing that I've noticed about these um, ready-mixed pouring type of paints is that they all seem to have a high gloss finish. So you can see my lights there in the reflection. And especially with the thicker amount of paints, like with what I did here, they seem to dry to have a sort of thick rubbery kind of texture. It's kind of hard to explain, so I hope that makes sense. I couldn't find any information on actually varnishing these types of paints, so I don't know if it's needed, but I would like to see how it affects these types of paints. And again, this could be because of how thick I made the paint, but when I touch it, 
it leaves a visible like fingerprint and it kind of smudges and it's still kind of kind of sticky you know um so i don't want to like hang it up on the wall and have something bang into it and have it get damaged so i'm gonna try out a spray varnish if that is something that interests you, join me next time as I test out a Lean's High Gloss Spray Varnish. Hopefully that will resolve that issue that I'm having. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. And I hope it has inspired you to want to go out and try Folk Arts New Drizzle Paints for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day.